Hi again and uh, welcome back to Two Gates Junction. Uh, I last left you showing you the uncoupling strip and a bit of plastic just stuck between the sleepers. Uh, a lot of people asked uh, to try and do a quick video on how it's done. I've shown you now, obviously manually using my hands. I'm going to try and do a, a quick demo. And knowing my luck it won't work now. I'm doing it from the controls. So I'll call up the loco and try and zoom it in a bit more. Set him off and just creeping towards it. Another four, yeah, it didn't work that time. There you go. It's hard to try and watch a camera and then watch a layout at the same time. Make sure I'm doing it. Okay. Try and get the second wagon released. A bit smoother. Stop, pick them back up. Set back off, hopefully we aren't dropping any. There you go. it up again. Too far that time, I think. Let's see. Yeah. There's a bit of a knock to it. It's a bit hard when I'm trying to film as well, but there you go. It's better than doing it manually with your hands anyway. And it tends to work obviously you can see it a bit closer. And we've stood pretty far away here so it's it's a bit more difficult. So really you could uh, run the program with the Army Railmaster as well using this. It has to be very precise but I, I prefer doing it with control myself. You can see we have put the little screwdriver extension uh, that's really the crest where it stopped and the uh, the arm still up on the on the wagon. I'm sure you bring the uh, Virgin 57 back in. Arm starting to rise. There you go. Why try and do it? That's better when you back it in. There you go, it didn't work anyway that time, so... Right, thanks for watching again, I hope this, uh, this helped a bit more, thank you.